How to become a millionaire using free technologies In the days of our fathers, there were basically two ways to make money. Spend three decades building a slow-growing bricks and mortar business or work for a company for 35 years. Obviously, the first part is tough and not many people ever dare it so most of our parents simply chose the part of work. Work a job you hate for 35 years and retire broke. Though most people still follow that path today, there are several other options available for you if you're smart. Today, you can make a whole lot of money by leveraging on the existing technologies or build your own. Unlike in the days of our fathers, you can now build a business faster even while you've got no money to start. In this video, I'm going to be discussing with you how you can become rich by using the power of the technologies. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Let me start this video with a personal story. In December 2014, I created a website. Many months to follow, I blogged on this website and in about 14 months after, I started creating some services and products around the topics on my blog. To make this whole process crazily smart, I really don't know any much about the services I was creating. Instead of knowing all about these services, I searched the internet, got the contact of people who are experts in these areas, called them and negotiated with them. Hi guy, I'm having clients who need your services. If I send them to you, you get X dollars. Deal done. As at the time of making this video, I've built a company around this simple concept and we now have 296 experts who are in partnership with our company. I started all these without any money. The only things I leverage are the technologies. Now let me break down all of this. The whole process I explained above were created by 5 things. A website, a lot of Google search to get who could render the services I wanted to sell a few cheap mobile phones to call the experts and receive calls from the clients, one app developed to keep the data of our experts, a few Gmail accounts to communicate with everyone involved. All of the above cost us near nothing, not even up to the money an average person uses to buy stuff they don't need, yet we built a wonderful business around that. So. How can you take advantage of the free technologies we have all around us to build wealth for yourself? First, stop having consumer worldview. Let me explain what I mean. You see, most people look at the wonderful technologies we have today and think, wow, this is very nice to use. You have to stop seeing things that way. Instead, you have to start seeing all the technologies around you as potential money-making machines. If you start seeing things from this angle, a new world will be open to you. Second, start thinking about leverage. Leverage is the ability to use what doesn't belong to you legitimately. Google has made me more money in the last three years than most people I know ever earned by working hard. How does this work? Simple but not easy. I created websites. Google helps me to rank those sites. When people search for something I have on my site, Google suggests my sites and a few of them click to my sites. When these people get to my site, I can subtly ask them to drop a few dollars by offering them some services or sell them some products. What even makes this unbelievably sweet is that I necessarily don't have to be the one to render the services they need. I can easily create a database of people who are experts on certain fields and act as an intermediary between the people who visit my site and the experts who can help them. Now think about this, I'm not actually doing anything big. I do not own the traffic to start with. Remember Google sent them to me. I may not even own the articles they read on my blog. Remember, you can get ghostwriters for a penny. Now to make the case really unbelievable, I'm not even the one to render the services these people need. Look how all these work and the only culprit here is the technology. But don't think I'm exceptionally smart. In fact, many successful companies today don't have anything of their own. They simply leverage on the technologies to make money. This is very hard to believe but I'll give you enough examples so this can be clear to you. Think about Uber. As at the time of making this video, Uber is worth $76 billion. So what's Uber selling? 
Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Except they use the technologies the way I use it. Uber connects the car owners with those who need a ride. Does Uber own the cars? Do they own the people who need a ride? The only thing Uber owns is the app. Via the single technology, they build a company that's worth $76 billion. Think about Facebook. Now, Facebook is worth about $400 billion. Selling what? Well, the math is simple. Facebook is practically selling content, but most people won't know. Here's the math. Why do you go to Facebook or Instagram? To consume content, either video, photos or post. That's the reason why you go and that's why Facebook make more than $50 billion every year. Though Facebook's primary product is content, Facebook doesn't create a single content. Instead, they use technologies to attract and keep billions of people. These people create content every day that make everybody go to the platform. Then, advertisers rush, begging Facebook and pay the company billions. Facebook doesn't own the content, doesn't own the people, nor does he own the advertisers. Facebook simply owns the technology. Think about Google and YouTube. YouTube make billions through the content like this video you are watching now. But YouTube itself created no content. Instead, they create technologies that attract millions of content creators and advertisers and make their billions along the line. The simple thing with Google. Think about Amazon, Alibaba and probably tens of other companies. They are all using my formula, the formula I explained to you earlier. Of course, you know that my previous statement wasn't true. These companies are not using my formula. I am using their formula and you can do the same. Create a few hours every week to think, how can I leverage on the existing technologies to build a business? Do you have a business already? Start using the existing technologies to promote it. Go and create a blog and start creating content. If you hate writing, you can go to Fiverr or Upwork. You can employ the services of a freelance writer to write for you. Don't just limit yourself to what you can do. Use the internet to look for experts whose services you can sell. Market such services in whatever ways possible. Blogging is the cheapest way but you can come up with a better way. Look at your phones, the Google, the social networks, your websites, thousands of plugins, the apps and others. All these are technologies you can leverage on to build a business that may end up making you a million dollars. Here are my final words. Stop seeing all these technologies we have today as instruments of pleasure. Start seeing them as opportunities for a powerful leverage. Your phone, the social media platforms, the search engines, the apps, YouTube and many others may be free but they can also help you make a lot of money. Don't expect it to be easy as I made it seem in this video. I can see it as easy now because I've gone through the process and mastered many skills along the way. You need to have a lot of patience and zeal if you wish to create something worthwhile. You may have to try several things, make hundreds of mistakes and experience tens of failures. It's part of the journey. If you are willing to get your hands dirty, you can end up creating something the entire world will be proud of. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.